We had paid $1,900 to have Dennis Lee's gas saving device installed in our car. Mechanic Sam Burlam told us we'd get incredible gas mileage. That's 96 miles a gallon. Could it be true? We brought the car back to that government approved lab and manager Robert De Palma for two more road tests. We got no significant difference in anything. Fuel economy, emissions, basically as it was last week without the device installed. 34 miles per gallon before, 34 miles per gallon after, and no change in emissions. But then we asked De Palma to put the car through two more tests, exactly the same as all the other ones, except this time the device was turned off. And we saw an increase in fuel economy to 35.6 about a 3.2 percent increase with the product turned off. Experts we talked to said that slight increase could be due to the oil additive Sam said he put in our car. Either way, we didn't get the mileage Dennis Lee bragged about. It is guaranteed to increase your fuel economy by 50 percent or more. It was no surprise to automotive expert Mike Allen, except when we showed him the bill. It comes in $1,904. We got the cash price discount. Ouch. What did we get for our $1,904? Taken. You taken. got taken. So how would you describe this device? It's a scam. Plain it's and bogus. Simple. Yeah. Allen says Lee's device doesn't make nearly enough hydrogen to make a difference. So why do so many go for it? There's one born every minute. People want to believe that they can attach some gadget to their car that they can pour some sort of pixie dust into their gas tank and get better fuel economy. Yet he sells these things for thousands of dollars. Is this a great country or what? <laughs> <laughs> and what we found out about Dennis Lee is that over the years, he's gone from one end of the country to the other, touting much more than just his gas-saving device. The reason why we believe that nothing is impossible is because we believe that to God, nothing is impossible. He's been part preacher, part salesman, a man who pitches things he says can change the world. A jackhammer that does not make noise and cameras that can look through six feet of concrete wall and tires that never, ever, ever go flat. Lee's even pitched an all-purpose motor that can run on virtually anything. Imagine running your engine on pickle juice or Coke or Pepsi or anything liquid. Dennis even inhaled what he says is pollution-free exhaust. He will take deep breaths and he will not cough. He had these inventions that would make a better world. In the mid-1990s, Peter Sullivan bought a Dennis Lee dealership to sell yet another of his inventions, a free electricity machine. He was trying to bring together people who were motivated, who could invest with it, and then we would make money by doing good things. But there was a hitch. While Lee used a demonstration model, there seemed to be a problem delivering the real thing. It was Sullivan's wife who smelled a rat. She had the intuition of, this is a scam, stay away from it. And I, in my idealism, <laughs> didn't listen. <laughs> he says he never saw his money again and never actually received a working model of the free electricity machine. As for Lee, he's gone from one miraculous claim to another. He's even pitched a classic scam, one that's as old as the hills, the so-called perpetual motion machine. Could I show you a perpetual motion machine? Yes, indeed. I do believe in perpetual motion machines. He couldn't possibly believe these things. He was a swindler from the start, and I think he enjoys it. University of Maryland physics professor and author Bob Park. Among the most fundamental laws is the law of conservation of energy. And, uh, and a perpetual motion machine obviously violates that. So that just isn't going to happen. How has Lee been able to pull off all his bold claims? Well, he hasn't always been able to. In California in 1990, Lee pleaded guilty to eight felony counts stemming from the marketing of one of his business opportunities. He served just over a year in prison. At one time or another, he's been prosecuted or sued in at least nine states for violating consumer protection laws. He's broken a lot of laws, but he hasn't broken the laws of physics yet. And judging from our test results, Lee's latest gas-saving device hadn't gotten our Honda any increase in mileage either.
So we had some questions for Sam, the mechanic who installed the device. How are you? Pleasure to meet you. And for Dennis Lee himself. Hi, how are you? Uh, Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. 